So now we will be studying about the P wave changes in biatrial enlargement. So most of the times you will see that it's just not only the right atrium or the left atrium which is enlarged, rather both of them are enlarged. So it's, so it's important to know what is the morphology of the P wave when both the atria enlarge. So uh, I've just made a small table below and I want you to think with me. So this table consists of three things, the change in the duration, amplitude and contour in case of right atrial enlargement and the left atrial enlargement. The reason why I'm kind of like trying to revise it here because it will be helpful in getting to know and remember the P wave changes in case of biatrial enlargement. So now coming on to the right atrial enlargement. So what happens to the duration? So we know that in case of the right atrial enlargement, the duration is not affected because the activation of that extra part of the right atrium coincides with that of the left and hence there is no net change in the duration. What happens to the amplitude? Yes, the amplitude increases from the normal which is 2.5 mm. And what happens to the contour in case of right atrial enlargement? The P wave becomes peaked and pointed. Coming to the left atrial enlargement, so what happens to the duration? So just like I told you previously, uh, it's just going to be opposite of what's going to happen in case of the right atrial enlargement. The amplitude in case of left atrial enlargement going to stay the same, but the duration will increase. Okay, It's going to be more than the normal. And the contour is going to be bifid or M-shaped. Now, coming to the biatrial enlargement. In case of biatrial enlargement, there will be both increase in the duration as well as the amplitude. Okay, so there is going to be both increase in the duration from the normal, which is 2.5 mm, and the amplitude, which is 2.5 mm. So now, uh, trying to think about the P wave changes in terms of frontal plane and the horizontal plane. So if you see in the frontal plane, uh, there will be both increase in amplitude as well as duration. So you can see that the height of the P wave is more than 2.5 here and the duration is more, more than 2.5 here. Also, to the figure uh, on the right, you can see that again the amplitude is more than 2.5 and the duration is more than 2.5. And the P wave morphology um, has become more broad here, okay, even though it's still rounded and it's bifid or M shaped. So it can be rounded, it can be bifid as well, but the main thing is that there is going to be increase in the duration as well as the amplitude. Coming to the P wave morphology in the lead B1. So we will be having biphasic P wave morphology as well as the inverted just like we had in left atrial enlargement. So even in case of lead V1, it will be having the combination of both the right and the left atrial enlargement. Since in the right atrial enlargement, there is peaking of the upright portion of the biphasic wave. This is exactly what we are seeing here. And in case of the left atrial enlargement, we know that the inverted waves will become bigger. That is more than 1 mm uh, in terms of the depth as well as the duration. So this is how you can think of the P wave changes in the biatrial enlargement. Both in the frontal plane and in the horizontal plane, you need to think of the combination of the changes consisting of both the right as well as the left atrial enlargement. So both of the changes combined together will be the change in the P wave that we'll see in case of biatrial enlargement. Now this is a 12 lead ECG showing by atrial enlargement. Now if you look at the lead 2, you see that the height of the P wave is more than 2.5 mm. And the duration of the P wave is also more than 2.5 mm. 
which indicates that it's a combination of left as well as right atrial enlargement. Coming to the lead AVF, again, if you see that the height is more than 2.5 and the duration is more than 2.5, then coming on to the lead 3, the P wave is normal, okay? But that's fine because the criteria for the P wave is being fulfilled by lead 2 EVF and lead V1, which we are just going to see, okay? Even though it's normal in lead 3, it's still by atrial enlargement, okay? So now if you see uh, the P wave in the lead V1, which is inverted, you'll see that it's almost 1 mm in depth as well as duration, which is not normal. Normally, it has to be less than 1 mm. Okay, but here it's almost 1 mm or even more than that and therefore it's abnormal.